This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by Pedal. Head on over to pedalcard.com slash rogue. That's P-E-T-A-L. Make sure to spell rogue right as well. Hopefully you know it by now. Start building your credit. Get what you deserve. Yeah, I don't know what that means. That sounded vaguely threatening. It's not threatening. It's good. Joe Diamond. Do you realize how afraid of fingers this man is? Jason Murphy's one weakness. Can we conjure his fear? It's not real fingers. It's tasting finger. What just happened? Uh, I was unprepared for this. No! <laughs> no! 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 Gross. Joe Diamond, what is it that makes palmistry so electric? Why is it those are the people at the party who are always collecting phone numbers and touching hands? For a variety of reasons. Number one, you're talking about a subject that everyone cares about themselves. Yes. And most of the population has at least one hand. Yes. So you don't have to like carry like tarot cards or a crystal ball with you to the party or ready to go anytime, anywhere. Oh, it's like cell phone magic where it's like everyone has a cell phone. And so you can mm -hmm. do, there's like four or five tricks you yep. can do. Except this is something people actually care about. Unlike their cell phones? Unlike yeah, cell phone magic. I'd rather lose oh, a hand okay. than lose a cell phone. There you go. Exactly, see? Okay, I do totally buy into the fact that we're all obsessed with ourselves and we want to hear other people talk about us. Mm -hmm. I believe that we believe that our futures are written in who we are as people and at a metaphorical level maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe there's something to being able to read Sherlock Holmes style, where it's sure. like if you see calluses, you can know that you work with your Absolutely. hands or whether somebody's opened or closed or... What is the real game of palmistry all about? The real game of palmistry is really all about having a good conversation. If you are just there talking the whole time and they're kind of closed off, it's not going to be that good of an experience for either person. Vice versa, if that person's talking the whole time and giving you everything, it's just not as impressive. And again, it's a, it's a true conversation. It's a true back and forth. How much of it is truly about paying attention to the lines and, and folds or whatever? And how much of it is misdirection? For example, like if you grab my hand, you would immediately notice I'm wearing a particular brand of mm -hmm. smart watch, you would notice sure. the wedding ring, sure. that kind of thing. You uh, would notice the map of scars on yes. both of his hands. Yes. Okay. You're like, you have a deep fear of drones. <laughs> yes. yes, I do. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Seven stitches in yeah. rage. I had an incident with a drone. My kids were getting way too close to it. I'm like, back away kids. And I realized it's probably going to be easier to control the drone than the kids. So I grabbed the drone and it, you know, buzzed like bees. What I did not know is that the Inspire One is a floating Cuisinart that has a landing mode. So as I held it, it brought in these, these chopping blades and gave me seven stitches and split me in half. Palmistry always seemed to me uh, to be closer to uh, cold reading. Sure. Uh, and that kind of thing, where you're just kind of fishing and casting out gentle little hooks to that see is what one, sticks. That is one technique of cold reading. There are endless techniques about cold reading. We're gonna be talking about a couple minor things, but honestly, very little of it has to do with the actual lines on your hand. Very brief story of how I I got into this, I was at a party when I was 14 and a girl I had a crush on, I overheard her saying to her friends like, oh, I wanna go get my palm read. And being 14 and male, I lied and said, hey, I know how to do that. Thinking she'd be like, oh, here's my phone number. Let's have coffee. And I would have time to prepare. And nope, she just went boop. You got and, to touch a girl's and hand. And I got to touch her hand. I just made stuff up. And I looked up and there was a line of three of her friends behind her. And I just thought to myself, well, the card tricks I was doing earlier didn't get that. So I think I know what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. So I went to the library and got Richard Webster's uh, Palmistry for Beginners. And that is the only palm ring book I've ever used. So I assume there's sort of a general roadmap of yeah. things people have heard about before that are useful as, I don't know, guidelines to yes. take you through a story. Yes, really, there's only four lines you really focus on in palmistry. Let's start from the very beginning of the reading. I always ask for the dominant hand. That tells me a lot. Number one, for me, I am right-handed just because when I was a kid, I wore my watch on the opposite hand. It just stayed there. So if I see they do this, but their watch is on their hand, I can talk a lot about that automatically. First of all, already, 
I can tell a lot about each of you right now. For example, you are literally presenting. You are on the table, you're down, where yours is a bit more giving. So literally, even though I know a lot about you both, you can use that. That's no BS because like you are relaxed and comfortable being examined, whereas I am submitting myself, like yes. flattening my hand as if I'm going to get my tonsils removed or mm -hmm. something. So right off the bat, before I even look at any lines, you can read a lot about the body. The hand lines uh, are very simple. The first line is the heart line, which is the very, very top line. Yours uh, comes up, ends right between your middle and index finger, which shows you have a very high sex drive. And yours uh, ends, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, yeah. You okay, okay with that? Okay, sure. all right. Yours does end a little shorter, but you have one, two, three forks, and I can orgasms talk about- Orgasms a day. Or, yeah, three orgasms a day, exactly. I can, I would uh, yeah. use that. No, 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 I recognize yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, he's a furry. Yeah. So at this point, I can talk about several different kinds of love. I can talk about the placement. Something else that a lot of people think the lines are about is about how long they are and everything, but it's also about the deepness, you know, as far as like how defined they are. Oh, okay. Like for example, I can tell yours aren't quite as deep yours are, which probably tells me, you know, you probably work with your hands a lot more than you do. This is where you blur the lines and you can sort of play the cold reading game sure. and say like, of the two of you, which one would you say works more with their hands? What do you do for yeah, a living? Exactly. And he was like, well, I write. Oh, so mm -hmm. your mind, what do you do? I'm a magician. Oh, so you, you do work, work you with do your work hands. Your hand. You're able to, 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 to paint a target around yeah. the answers. Well, it's giving a lot of those kind of like uh, when James Randi passed out the same horoscope to everyone. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's saying, listen, we're going to give you these vague generalizations that everyone is going to be able to latch onto. And so you kind of cast a wide net, sure. see where it tugs, and then you focus on that. But in Absolutely. many ways, this is even better because you get instant feedback when you could see someone tense up if you're hitting the wrong wrong mark or you could see them, you know, pull their hand and away. And there's the other thing. You can not only see that, but literally when you're holding their hand, you can feel that. Like you can feel when they're tensing up mm -hmm. and you know, sometimes they might be tensing up because you are nailing it so perfectly. Tension doesn't necessarily always mean you're hitting or not hitting, like everything you got taken in context. Okay, okay. but the important one is that the top one is the heart line. Yes. And then the head line is the one that comes, is right below it, comes down through your hand. And this one's really an easy demonic to, to work with. That can bring you in one of two directions. You can talk about if it's flat, they're a more practical down to earth thinker. If it's curved, they're more creative. So just think of creative, curved, flat, more practical. Sometimes they do fork off like mine do, and you can comment on that. One of the techniques of cold reading is to give one thing, but then take it back, saying, you're really expressive and extroverted, but you really have an introvert side. You have a thing that you'd like to do that's your own thing and everything else. You need your own space. So there's a lot of give and take if you want to use a, a, a sneaky technique. You will be surprised the more you learn about it, the less you have to use stuff like that, because again, you're engaged in having a good conversation rather than just being impressed. So it occurs to me that you can also do kind of what magicians call multiple out tricks where, yes. for example, I'm looking at my heart line and headline. One is longer, but the other is deeper. So mm -hmm. I might, if I was doing a reading on myself, I might say something like, would you consider yourself somebody who leads with their head or his heart? And it's like, that's exactly what I thought, because look at how deep your heart line runs. It's so much deeper than your headline. Or, or it's like, look at how long your headline is compared to your heart line. I, and it sounds like you're just crafting a story. Yes, and the story is about them. Yeah. I am I am crafting a story about Jason Murphy, and I'm using this as kind of the roadmap. Very briefly, the lifeline is the one that curves around the base of the thumb, what? so right there. Uh, and usually that's more about quality of life and more about how outgoing you are. If it's close to the base of the thumb, they're more, you know, reserved. If it's out, it's going more outward. So yeah, yours would be this line that comes down and kind of fades out here and then becomes stronger in here. So in this case, if I'm if I'm gonna do my own palm reading, I might point out my lifeline, you'll notice I actually kind of have two where I might- Well, that's a different might, line. Okay. That line that goes up through the middle of your hand, that's a different line we'll get to in a moment. Okay, great. In which case I would point to this other line here. Yes. I might say, ooh, it looks like this is where the lifeline is. And I'm actually seeing two impressions here. Do you sometimes feel like you're living two different lives? I got one better for you. Yeah? That line you have, let's see if you have one. Are you? I'm a Cylon. You kind of <laughs> do, you kind of do. When you have a line that runs parallel on the inside of your lifeline, that is often called a sister line or a guardian angel line. 
Oh, that's so, great. If someone has this, they're typically the kind of person who everyone stubs their toe on the same stoop, but for some reason you always avoid it. Or if you're in like a minor car accident, everyone's got bruises, but you're okay. And it, oh, very often that hits. It's not with everyone, all three of us have one. We do dangerous stuff, we need guardian angels. Right. So, and then the line that goes right up through the hand, this is the one that changes the most over time. I call it the destiny line. And yours goes all the way up through, up into your lifeline or and headline. I am burdened and, with glorious purpose. Yes, <laughs> yes. So if we're gonna think about this as a journey, if we're literally gonna make a roadmap and tell a story with this, we're talking about, oh, your destiny started off very strong. Just a small and, town girl. Yeah, it's just a small town girl. And then you start working more with your head and mm -hmm. then eventually in the more recent years, you've been able to work with things that involve both your head and your heart. So really, if you just hold on to those four things, That's... those are four subjects that everybody cares about. That's it. Your heart, your head, your life, and your purpose. I got one better for you too. Yeah. So let's say uh, you don't wanna do all, even all four of those lines. Maybe you're crunched for time, maybe. Literally, I've had people ask me to like read their palms like at the airport. By the way, if you can do it for the ticket person, myself and other people have gotten free upgrades when giving a quick 30 second palm reading to someone. I'll do it with you real quick, Brian. Like you've sure. asked me for a palm reading. Like, yep, yep. Oh, uh, man, I wish I could give you a full in-depth one, but we only I only got a few minutes. I'll tell you what, oh, you have a really strong headline. You have a really strong uh, love line. And you have a very, you have a very strong destiny line. Which would you like to talk about? Do you want to talk about your destiny, where your head's at, or where your heart's oh, at? Destiny. I'm at a crossroads. And I don't already, know what I want. And already, I know so much more because now I know what you want to talk about. Right. You're like, okay, so I know. I see a wedding ring and all that. I know. Okay, he's good with love. You know, the headline. He he's got a pretty good sense of who he is. He wants to know about the stuff outside of him. And I can pack in a lot in just 30 seconds just by knowing that. So, so there's not a lot of hard and fast rules. There's not a book that just says, this is what we the, have the, as the palmistry the organization palmistress of I, greater Ocala County. I am uh, going to psychically predict that there are going to be comments in this saying, yeah. no, actually the headline means this, the lifeline means this. Sure. What And to me, the my, you could get a book and read all the minutiae of what this line means, what this line means, what this line means. But if you go in and you say, well, this is your brain line, you know, somebody that knows a little bit about palmistry would know, actually nobody thinks that. So you probably yeah. ought to stick with like what the four actually sure. mean sure. and then weave your story around that. Something I always look for for people is you'll see them right around here is worry lines. You'll notice oh, we're pretty good. Yours are a bit firmer because- uh, I worry more. You worry more, you've got- you've He got, does worry a lot. He's got to pay off the property and everything, you know? <laughs> but that said, I mean, there is not, again, not hard science to back this up, but people worry more, work more, they, they fidget more. Well, and cer so it's certainly gonna... uh, things like calluses would be indicative yes. that somebody has a more blue collar job or Absolutely. whatever. When you're reading someone who has, again, anything from finger polish to some palmistry even works in the hand shape. I usually more worry about, again, those are purely academic, you know, for me, like a more hard and fast rule is, oh, okay, if they, if they look like they're giving me something when they give me their hand, they're probably a very giving person. There is one trick that I've seen mentalists use before that I've always loved. For example, if, let me, if I'm reading your hand here or whatever, again, we're, we're talking about heart, head, love, destiny. destiny, and life. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I'm looking at your heart line and it's almost like there's kind of a division in there, like a break at some point. If you had your heart broken, and let's say you say no, then you just go, watch for that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you can learn what all the specific lines and places and everything are, but literally that is all you need to know in order to give a very quick, 90 second palm reading for anyone, anywhere, anytime. So I suppose if we're gonna summarize everything, it's have four subjects that are interesting to mm -hmm. talk about, use the filtering to let people self-select what they're most interested mm -hmm. in, listen to them, both not what they're saying, but also with the way their body is reacting. How they say, like, if they say, ooh, read my palm, right. or if they say, really? Let's see, like if you can tell they're going like, oh, let's see, uh, sometimes they just want to sit down. They know they're going to lose, but they want to play chess with Bobby Fish. Sure, sure. Like, even if they don't believe in it, they want to go, okay, well, 
I don't believe in this stuff, but let's see how good you yeah. are. And if somebody calls you out like you're wrong or something like that and they get combative about it, you say, well, yeah, it's not real, dumbass. Don't, well, don't, that. don't do or, that. You're or, just terrible. actually, just... the, perfect, the perfect way to introduce it and the perfect out is, hey, I watched The Modern Rogue and they did an episode about palmistry. And they wouldn't lie. Let's, no, let's no, 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 this let's, is great. I, I want to I test it and see how accurate it was. That's just and it. If, and a if test they, is never wrong. And, and, if they, and if they say, no, that's not accurate at all, just say, well, the modern rogue that was said. Fascinating. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we we have to do it now. Oh, right, yeah. Okay. I'll give you my okay. left hand, which I've not shown. Oh. Here's my left. Oh. Give me your left hand. Okay, Jason Murphy. I feel like we've known each other many years. <laughs> I feel like there's somebody very important in your life. Oh, that's 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 accurate. I I, I feel that here uh, you. Oh 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 yeah. Oh, what's happening? That, uh, oh no 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 no. That is your headline. You ponder a lot about things, right? You, I, you I kinda, swear to God, it, I thought you were about to talk about my hairline, and I was like, I I. <laughs> I've been working on my five um, head forever. Yeah. Uh, oh, it looks like you have called Roman. To I, get yes. Roman to yes. <laughs> okay. Great. Great. But it looks like you're a deep thinker that you maybe overanalyze some things. You can see how uh, it goes long here and kind of curves off to the right. Do you obsess over things sometimes? This is fun because the more I view everything through this lens, the more I really want to examine the differences between us because I do notice that you do have both. Like I could make a case that you feel things in your heart line deeper than I do and that you think about things harder than I do whereas I tend to much more to, practical much more creative or, or whatever whatever story but I feel like within within seconds we'll be agreeing with each other I got beautiful baby hands though that's, that's well you know you've got uh, it looks like you've been uh, maybe working with some uh, tools here that you're not used to working with because the padding over here is very soft but sometimes you do a little bit of physical labor because you know you're overthinking things are you worried a little bit about your masculinity at times? And so you try to compensate by doing like rugged things? Like, I, 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 like I, a... I no longer like this game. Here, you just, <laughs> uh, you, you just keep uh, going. You, this is the guy. This, oh, I'm he's just very gonna, handsome. Good. Yes, okay. He's very all right. handsome. I think we're good oh, here. We're all done. Jura. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Credit cards. Don't know if you ever heard of them, but they're a thing. They allow you to buy things on a little thing I like to call credit. I invented that term. You're welcome. It's me, Joe Credit, AKA. Brian Brushwood. Look, the point is, normally when you get a credit card, all they want to do is make you spend as much as you can, get as much as they can out of the rates on there, and also charge you fees on top of it. Actually, what, what's the reverse of this? Not our friends over at Pedal Card. If you're somebody who has not yet established a credit rating, this thing is perfect for you. They actually look at little things like, oh, I don't know, how much money you make, how much you got in the bank, how much you actually spend, things that make sense, and they don't penalize you with some kind of like, uh-oh, looks like this guy is looking for credit and then reduce your score overall, Pedal Card does it right. And the new Pedal 2 is going to make you feel awesome as you build your credit. Now I hear you out there, some of you are saying, ah, rewards, rewards. We're talking about higher limits, great rates, and no annual fees. That do anything for you? And if you want to track your spending online, they've got you covered. You're able to use the online app to find out exactly how much you're spending and spend responsibly. And then also get those sweet, sweet rewards. Talking about 1% cash back from day one. Pay on time for 12 months, you get 1.5% cash back. You're literally getting paid to spend money responsibly with credit. Oh, I hear you out there. You want to know whether or not the Pedal 2 card is partnered with WebBank, a member of FDIC that issues the Visa cards. Well, guess what? They are, and they do. As we record this, the Pedal 2 variable APRs range from 12.99% to 26.99%. Use your credit responsibly. Start building your credit history right now with responsible use of credit at pedalcard.com slash rogue. That's R-O-G-U-E and P-E-T-A-L. There's a lot to spell in there. Make us look good and make yourself look a uh, 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 credit worthy. It landed it. Offer and link in the description below. Most people have at least only one hand and they care about themselves. At least only one hand? I'm confused. Why? At most, only one hand. <laughs> at most, at most, at most, at least only one at hand. Most. At most, it's at weird to minimum. use only. <laughs> only, uh, only some at a three. minimum. Some have one. one. Man. All right, you know. Uh, let's take it from the top. top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you.